What's going on everyone? Today we have the RX 9060 XT. This is the gaming OC version of the card by Gigabyte. We'll be pairing it with the 9800X3D and 32 gigs of RAM. All right, we are checking out Wukong tonight on the 9060 XT. Got it paired with the 9800X3D. So these numbers will be best case scenario. So, you know, do your own research when it comes to CPUs. Uh, this is probably the best gaming CPU for 1080p if you really want to push things to their absolute limit at uh, this resolution. Uh, but, you know, uh, that will definitely matter a lot less once we go up to 1440 and we're going to check out 4K as well. And some ray tracing um, probably on just 1080p and 1440. We're just going to have to see how 4K goes. Um, based on the 9070 XT, I think that the 9060 XT might not be able to do ray tracing on 4K, but we're, we're going to check it out. So anyway... We're on low settings here, uh, and this is the uh, FSR 4 update. If you're not seeing FSR 4 in your uh, settings here, just roll your driver back one. I'll put the driver that I have right now at the bottom of the screen. That way you can make sure you're on that driver. So we are definitely at 1920 by 1080. Coming down here to graphics, not upscaling at all. Make sure you see FSR 4. Frame generation, of course, is off. No ray tracing. We'll do that at the very end. Medium gives us about 113 FPS here. Uh, and of course everything looks pretty good. We're not anywhere close to our 16 gigs of VRAM usage at all uh, We have a uh, nice smooth frame rate here and medium looks really good on this title I think high is like the sweet spot, but medium definitely adds a big jump over low. So uh, if you're uh, struggling to run uh, Very high or high medium is definitely still a good-looking option uh, it, It's not near as flat as low low looks like play-doh to me it's pretty terrible looking. So let's just keep going through it and just keep cl kind of climbing up through these settings to see what we can expect. So go down here and kick on the next level, which is high. And of course, w once we start to get around uh, 60 or you know ducking under when we're not getting that uh, nice solid 60, uh, we're gonna start checking out some upscaling to see what we need to do to keep it at a good stable frame rate. All right, so here we're still at 86 FPS. And everything still looks pretty great. Uh, of course, no ray tracing is pretty light work for this card. Um, it, it definitely excels at uh, raster and just brute force. So we're just going to keep on going and see when it starts to need a little bit of upscaling. It might be when we do act, get to that um, ray tracing uh, segment of the of the test, which will be at the very end of this video. I'm going to save all ray tracing for the very end. So use your chapter markers if you need to and skip around. Uh, that's what I got them down there for. So right here, we're down in the 50s. So this is probably where I would kick on some upscaling. Uh, as you can see, our PCL is around 43. Still acceptable, but can be a little bit better. Let's go ahead and 